hi to Chaco. Happy is going to win is very likely, but Orc Worker did win uh, last piece, PG Cup, in fact. PG Cup 6. Last week was won by Orc Worker. He beat Happy 2 to 1 in the semifinals. That was amazing. Then Orc Worker lost to Foggy, I think, in the finals. Anyway, let's uh, let's see this game. The Blade Master is out, so I should probably start casting the shit. Not in the best of five championship. Oh yeah, that's right. It was best of three, of course, because I met in the semifinals last week. But still, I mean, if you can win in the best of three, maybe you can win in the best of five. I'm looking at the history, and it seems like Orc Worker has never won against Happy in a best of five, at least not in the database here on Warcraft3.info. So this is gonna be the first time Orc Worker is gonna beat Happy in a best of five, guys. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I just ate the rice cracker, making me extra excited. Uh, Orc Worker killing this ogre. That's a dead ogre. And uh, that is nice. He kills the ogre. Uh, he has boots. He has the circlet. The Death Knight here. Got the slippers. Slippers useless item, man. Such a, such a useless item. Blade Master, he... Uh, Wait, he got the boots? Boots is so good. Is it so good? Yeah, it's, it's so like like I don't advise buying boots against undead, you know, especially if, if they already get a level two death knight for free. But if you get it for free, it's definitely one of the best items you can get, you know, or for free or for half the price or however you want to call it. Because if you would sell it, you sell it back for, back for half the price. So it's as if you got the boots for half the price, then it's definitely a good item. It's definitely better than probably any of the other items. Class of attack plus 9 is good. Um, evasion is, is okay, I guess. You know. The other one. A parry up there. Eh. Like, I like the boots the best, you know. Best. In this matchup, better than a class of attack plus 9. Especially if you get an early game, right? Especially if you get an early game. What does Sock stand for? Sock is the best human player, of course. There's a coil on the fiend. Arashi Cage, guys, we have Arashi Cage. Have we, do we have any fans in chat here of Arashi Cage? Or does no one like Arashi Cage? If you're a fan of Arashi Cage, please type in the channel TP Magao. That was it, that was it right? TP Magao? Yeah. If you're a fan of Arashi Cage, please type TP Magao in the chat. Hope to see some TP Magaos. <laughs> it's a. Uh... <laughs> it is. Defiant Gong, are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? <laughs> TP with capital letters, M with capital letters, and then A G A O. So you have a TPM in capitals, and then Agao without capitals, with a not a W with a O. I think you're trolling me though. Okay. I guess no one. I guess no one likes the. Likes the Rashi Cage. <laughs> okay, any fans of Duke Rage Reaver then, maybe? Duke Rage Reaver. If you're a fan of Duke Rage Reaver, type. Uh, type. What is a good emote? What is the other one? What's that other anime girl emote? What is the one with. Uh... Shit, I cannot find it. I should remember all these emotes. That's how, that's how you know you're a good streamer. Also, I should probably cast this game. Okay, type uh, type TB taco props. Sure. I want to see taco bags. Anyway, we have four fiends here. We have a blade dash. He's trying to cut apart the death knight. Death knight is trying to cut apart the fiend. Fiend gets coiled. We almost have a level 3 death knight. Uh, death knight is out of mana though. So can he get this fiend? No. Yeah, Rage Reaver for life. Duke Rage Reaver, Pog Champ. Okay, we do have some people that uh, love Rage Reaver. Maybe there were Protoss players in uh, StarCraft. Or maybe they were... No, actually, I guess it's the opposite, right? Maybe they were like not Protoss. Maybe they were Zerg players. And then they, when they play against Rager, they rage. So that's why they're Rage Reaver. 
The rage when they see Reaver. Okay, that was so smart. Such a nice joke there, Chaco. The Death Knight is almost level 3. The skeleton almost went down. Those fluids. Wait, fluids? What? A player's forces are under attack. Maybe in the chat. We have uh Cloves of Haste and a Mantle of Intelligence for the Lich. That's nice. He's gonna creep here. Ring of Protection plus three. Pretty shitty item here. Blade Master is still only level 2.6. Shadow Hunter crap this. He picks up the Tome of Agility. Level 2 Shadow Hunter. I, I think the caffeine is finally working. I was work always rage at Reavers. There you get it. Pims is a rage reaver. And uh nice. Nice. Uh, what do we have here? The lich. Oh, a flute! There's a flute! Flute of accuracy. That's a great item. What do we get over here? Does it get a great item as well? Or a shitty one? Oh, a helm of failure. I mean, it's it's not the worst one. It's better than the crystal ball that we got last game. It is also better than Madun of Courage. Better than Hoot of Cunning. Three items worse than this item. Is it better than. Is it better than Claws of Attack plus 12? I'm not sure. Is it better than Cloak of Flames? I'm not sure. I think it's about the same level. So it's not a bad item, it's just an unlucky item. Helm of Failure. Every aura would be better, of course. Every single aura is just much better. What did we get over here? Uh, what did we get? Oh, whoa, 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 Django. Welcome to the Django. That is, of course, a very nice item. The Django. But he will have to TP home and defend his base. But the Django. Oh, wow, that is so good. The Death Knight is almost level 4. Lich is almost level 3. There's no Sappers on this map. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, the heroes are just so much higher level here for Happy. Oh no. Are they higher level? <laughs> They're actually so much the same level here <laughs> compared to Orc Worker. Actually, the Death Knight is almost level up compared to the. Blade Master and the Lich has kind of the same uh, amount of e XP compared to the Shadow Hunter. So a bit more XP for Happy. A player's forces are under attack. Happy uh, dodging the ensnare with Burrow. I didn't even see that. Sometimes I'm just. I don't see everything, I guess. But nice catch there then. Molly. And that has mass arrows. Uh, they have uh, three arrows, yeah, and three very good arrows. These are actually like almost the best items you can get. You know, flute of accuracy, Django. Django is definitely the best item he could have gotten there. It's uh, probably better than Katgars. Oh, the, oh, maybe if you go Banshees, I'm not sure. Anyway, this Banshee uh, takes a lot of damage. There was a stomp hit, nothing. That stomp hit, nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. Kota goes down, the fiend goes underground. But there's a healing wave. Oh, the statue though gets perched. This statue is going down. The fiend goes uh, up. Oh, there's a storm. This time he hits some skeletons, but he's about to. Oh, info potion. Nice info potion. There's a healing uh, wave thing. And look how fast these units walk. Level 1 endurance aura. Level 2 endurance aura. Level 1 endurance aura. <sighs> what am I saying? Level 1 endurance aura. Level 1 unholy aura. And. No. True shot aura. TC is being hunted down, but can he get a... The Lich has no mana. So no, the answer is no. 49 supply against 46. What is this? Skeleton Scout. Skeleton Scout. Death Knight is level 4 now. Lich level 3. Dark Ranger level 1. Um, and this bow. Names of Dark Ranger are so weird, man. 3-3-1. I bet like Dark Rangers, their names are just part of sentences. Someone saying, uh, someone was saying, uh, how, how much, for how much can I buy that X? No. Can I buy your X? He, and he's like, yeah, you can buy my X. And this bow, Sumbo. And this Sumbo. And then, uh, you know, they just picked that part of the sentence, and this Sumbo. And they named the Dark Ranger, and this Sumbo. And we have Cryptic, Cryptic Soul Slayer, which is now, what, what does Cryptic mean again? I should look that up so I can make a very good joke about this uh, Lich that's called Cryptic Soul Slayer. 
right? I made a good joke about the Death Knight's name, Duke Rage Reliever. I made a good joke about the Dark Ranger's name, you know, uh, and this Sumbo. Now I need a good joke for the Cryptic Soul Slayer. But uh, I don't think I have the time to because they are going to fight. They're going to fight. Jojo Headshrink as always. Why do we always get Jojo? Jojo Headshrink, 50 Splagger, 57 Worker went over 50. But Happy's just going to creep this creep camp. And uh, if he gets a level 5 Death Knight anytime soon, this is going to be horrible here for uh, Orc Worker. Let's see what item he gets. If he gets more DPS for the Circuit. Okay, Circuit is fine. It's not amazing. It's fine. And he kills his entire creep camp. Creepties. Chaco in the Nether Netherlands. Uh, Creepties, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that word means either. I think it has something to do with security, maybe? Or is that a different word? Sec and no, that's encrypted, of course. Uh, there is a uh, silence on the DC. These units, these fiends are going underground. The god who could eat a banshee, but he, he doesn't eat banshees. He doesn't eat ghosts. He, uh, uh, ghosts. He wants to eat a fiend. There, beautiful fiend eating. Uh, but the kodo, oh, he only has one kodo. I always feel like this is a mistake. Trying to eat when you only have one kodo against undead, it's not worth it. The lich is uh, taking some fire. There's a the frost armor and the coil. So now the, the orc lost 20% damage output because he was so greedy trying to eat with the Kodo. Don't eat with the Kodo guys, if you only have one Kodo, don't eat with it. Even if you have two Kodos, uh, I'd still advise only eating with one Kodo. It's because if you're gonna eat, try to eat with both the Kodos, you're just gonna lose both of them. Uh, there goes one Fiend, uh, that's a nice stomp. Dark Ranger got stomped. This uh, Fiend gets a nice uh, coil. He's ready to take so much damage. This Grunt is going to die. Uh, it's 53 against 35 supply. And uh, this Fiend goes on the ground. This is GG, guys. Is it GG? It's GG. We're just waiting for Orc Worker to GG out. Let me read some of the chat here. Uh, high level debate in my chat. Can, can you guys stop insulting each other, guys? Can, if, if someone insults you, can you like just not insult back? Just ignore the guy. Should I get mods? To, uh, should I make more mods? And get them to time all, out all the people that insult people? Hi, Saladin19. Can I get Mod Chaco? I'll be Mod Chaco. I mean, if I give Mod... Well, I know I have two, uh, two people wanting to be Mods. And I know the problem is gone. Just get more Mods, Chaco. No wonder you have Toxic Chat. You're part of this problem, Anna. <laughs> But, uh... I don't know, I'll think about it later for now. For now, I'll just stop, uh, stop blaming each other. Is this game still live? This game is still live. 56 supply against 45. This Banshee takes a bit of damage there. He coils the Banshee. Level 5 death knight now. It's super duper strong. DC has level 2. Jojo Head Shrinker is level 3. The TC is level 3 now. Maybe we have a chance here for Orc Worker. Chaco, may I be your Snakey mod, please? You can only mod when I'm playing Snakey. And I'm mad that Chaco. A player's forces are under attack. That's nice creeping here. I guess my channel is a bit bigger. It's uh, slowly getting getting bigger. And uh, you know, Twitch chat. We know how Twitch chat is. Small channels, everyone is nice, but the bigger channels become, the more we need mods. Anyone watching this game? I was watching the game, but at this point it's over, so that's why... Uh, well, actually, Orc Worker went back to 57 supply. Actually, I'll take it back. I'll focus on the game again for now. We have a TC level 3. Shadowhunter is level 3. He has his pendant of energy on the Shadowhunter. 
I wonder if at this point, maybe you should give it to the TC. Nah, that's not a good idea. Maybe get a mana potion on TC. He has an info potion here on the Blade Master, but maybe get one on the TC as well. He needs one on the TC, right? There's a Dark Ranger. There is a Dark Ranger. We have so much nukes. 66 supply against 58. And um, some Banshees, some Initiate Banshees. TC level three shadow hunter level four blade master. A town is under siege. Is that orc worker? Does he want to fight? This food to launch here, take some damage. Sixty-eight supply against sixty. I mean, Happy has this bigger army, but uh, the Berserkers are always scary. If you can get a few, few, if you can get some very nice stomps off, all these units attacking in the back, doing a lot of damage. Either unit with the Kodo, or now nah, you don't even want to run that to do that, right? Like I was saying, don't try to eat something with the Kodo, especially if you only have one Kodo. But if you can get a few hits off, uh, a lot of hits off with the Berserkers and a few stomps off, so you don't lose units in the same time. We still have a small chance here for Orc Worker. Also the Blade Master, of course. Level 2 Critical Strike. He could kill a unit, maybe. There, that Raider goes down. And... Why? Well, let's see. He still has a one of Mana Stealing as well. That's... Maybe useful. He can steal a Stomp away from the TC. Like, this is actually uh, one of the situations where the item is actually pretty good. Oh, I missed this, by the way. <laughs> Expansion for Happy has been up already for quite a bit. <laughs> More than 1k gold. So Happy can just buy time and win this game. 80 supply for Happy. Yeah, I'd, even right, right now, even with the best stomps in the world, with the best focus fire of these Berserkers I've ever seen, I don't think he can win the game. The fiends are 1 and 0. There's a Coil, there's a Fosnova. Dark Ranger is level 3. Things are 1 and 0. 87 supply now for Happy. He went over 80. Uh, didn't even upgrade his Banshees to Adapt or Master. He does get another attack upgrade. I would have uh, probably, you know, stayed under 80. <laughs> Bought some more items, maybe. Yeah, you know, on the Dark Ranger. Uh, get the Adapt or maybe even Master Banshees before going over 80. But uh, Happy just going over 80. Nukes the TC. TC uses the Info Potion. There's a stomp, and uh, this guy go takes a lot of damage here by all the berserkers. But is he going to fall? <laughs> the healing is just uh, too much. Okay, he does fall. All these guys they do a lot of damage. Though. There's a beautiful stomp. But look, this is what I was talking about. Happy has 30 more supply than uh, Earth Worker, but it looks look close there for a second. Of course, in the end, you know, 30 supply is just too much. And there's a GG after the TC went down. In your opinion, Chaco, who's a better on that? 120 or Happy, and why? Uh, I think 120 is a bit better. I feel uh, it's mostly from watching Netties, of course. I feel like he is uh, actually. I think Happy is better in certain matches. So Happy is better in that versus in that. Happy is better in uh, in that versus human, and I think 120 is better at in that versus Knight of in that versus Orc. Haha! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy meeting someone you've known for like 10 years. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever met any of you guys, right? Never. No, never. I don't think... Yeah. Not any of my, my Warcraft 3 uh, friends. Because you all live in the USA. It's not really a place I'd like to go. Where do you live, Chaco? At the moment, I live in the Netherlands. Not that there's something wrong with USA, but... At the moment, I have no interest in it. He's going for this Ogre Magi with the Blade Master and the Grunt. The burrow is being built here by uh, by Worker. Seed loss of haste. A 
We're having a death eye and some fiends. Card didn't hear. Work worker. Chuck, can you help me buy cocaine in the Netherlands? Uh, I think my chat knows more about it than me. I don't blame you, blame you for not wanting to go to USA. Thanks. USA is a great place to live if you have credit card debt, because they're gonna blow us up anyways. I did uh, visit Hawaii for a few months. I was in Hawaii for three months. That was... Uh, no, not bad. The weather was nice. The beach was nice. But I wouldn't want to live there long term. Blade Master kills this Null. He's level 2. Kajit is level 2. The Death Knight is still level 1. Chill Six, I hear. Blade Master going for the Death Knight. The Death Knight is now level 2. We have uh, more fiends incoming. So the, the Blade Master got two circlets. Okay, he bought one circlet. Got a circlet and a gloss of haste. Uh, the circlet, of course, super item on the Blade Master. The gloss of haste is just, is just, uh, you know, just good. It's better than the Ring of Protection. It's not a great item. Gloss of attack is nice there for the Death Knight. It's going to be great for the Lich later. And then. Uh, yeah, he's the only gamer I've met in real life. I mean, I met some. Uh, I met the Dutch people in real life, of course. The Dutch uh, when I went to uh, tournaments, qualifiers, WCG qualifiers. I mean, yeah, that was uh, pretty exciting for me at the moment. Back then, he spent uh, down to 135 hit points. So you miss a Mad Grubby? Yeah, I had to play him a few times in, uh, in tournaments. Kajit is going for the uh, the Fiend. But he's not gonna get it. Four Fiends here. Uses Dust. Blade Master takes some damage here. Death Knight kills this uh, this level five null. Did it, did the Blade Master? Oh, I mean the Death Knight killed the Blade Master got the kill. A third circle there picked up by the Blade Master. Now he kills this skeleton, and uh, he heals back up here. Level two Blade Master, level one Zookies. Uh So far, it's going pretty good here for Orc Worker. And the Death Knight is going to kill this level 6. Book of the Dead is, of course, an amazing item there. And there we have... Oh, is he going for the base immediately? His feats are kind of low, though. I guess if he can kill some burrows, TP out. But the Blade Master just needs a few seconds to, to shred his fiends to, uh, to apart. No, he's going to uh, not going to the Orc base just yet. I was afraid there. Well, but what about the orc? What item did he get? What item do we see here for back to, for uh, orc worker? Don't know. Just gonna keep here. Shadow hunter is level two. He's going. He's trying to kill the drake. Uh, what item is he gonna get here? Like, a uh, mana item is good for now. Survivability item is even better, like Rune Bracers. Even better than that. Uh, I'm not sure. Bo Boots of Quantum Loss is not better than that. Rune Bracer is definitely the best one. Uh, Boots of Quantum Loss is... Probably second best. Oh, he gets a Boots of Quantum Loss. 
but energy, planet of energy here on the Death Knight. Death Knight has a lot of mana. He should probably just give the, uh, I mean, he has a lot of max mana, but he right now he does have a lot of mana. Maybe he should have given it to the Lich, but the Lich was full mana. That would have been so nice. Meanwhile, the Blade Master Cube over here, he's uh, he's gonna be level 3 soon. Shadowhunter is gonna be level 3 soon. Uh, is he gonna get level 2 Windwalk or level 2 crit? Well, we can't see, uh, unfortunately, but with these items, man, he does, he has a Gloves of Haste and a Boots of Quilt, last and two circlets. He attacks very fast. We have some Kodos, we have some TCs. Banshees are still on this shit. Uh, Illusionary Blade Master just uh, trying to cut apart the step of the dam. There's some more uh, statues. Does he have the orb? Nice to orb now. It's 43 supply against 46. Nice claws of attack there on the Lich. Still like this planet of be uh, energy better on the Lich for now. Give it maybe uh, later back to the Death Knight. But as you all know, and Death players, they're not very good with their planet of energies. Demon Hunter now with the Hellstone and the Orb of Lightning. This Demon Hunter could win the game here. Uh, Demon Hunter, I mean Blade Master, of course. Blade Master is level 3. He does a lot of damage. There's a Sensi Ward on the floor by Orc Worker. The Dark Ranger. His no. Killed an all 64 hit points, 12 hit points. The Lich there did how much damage? From 64 to 12, 52 damage. With one attack, without even any, uh, very few items. But that's just the orb, of course. The orb of corruption. So he picks up the intelligence. That is it. The Blade Master going for the uh, Destroyer. There's a Book of the Dead. Do we have mana for this spell? Oh no, I'm sure he checked his uh, Spirit Walker. I'm sure he checked whether he had to adapt, whether he could dispel. He can't, so uh, he has to run. Let's see, 50 Spike at 43. Orc Worker is getting uh, adapt. He's getting Raiders, he's getting more Berserkers. I don't like this too much. But he does have a single Raider. Okay, I like that for now. <laughs> I like uh, one Raider is, is fine. Just, just, I feel like Raiders with this ranged units with the Berserkers, not the best combos, combo. Instead, just get a second line, Lightning Orb. He has one already. Uh, there's a Dome of Agility, doesn't pick it up. Maybe he's uh, saving it for the Blade Master. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Blade Master is going to pick it up. He's going to be so uh, agile. That's nice. Kills these Kobolds. The uh, skeleton's still alive for a half uh, half the time. Is this all time high viewers without the help of uh, hosts? I did get host today, Molly, and um, so I didn't. I don't think so. I think I did one time. I did the uh, Jarrow Cup. Was it not this? Not the last one, but the one before it. Uh, was on Tuesday, and I didn't get host that day, and I got like up to 350 viewers. But uh, this is definitely one of the highest I have had. In my life. But yeah, I did get hosted earlier. It was of course already like, what, six, seven hours ago. I also got hosted by the Lucifer, other host. There is a coil on this, uh, this Spirit Walker. It goes down. He still has one more Spirit Walker. Stop hits only the Lich. This, uh, this Burrow Fiend is underground. Gives him a coil. Uh, maybe the Fiend here. Well, it's taking a lot of damage. There goes the Drader. There's another coil on the Fiend. There's a Stomp. Hits like the Death Knight, the Lich, and the Fiend. There, 
TC is uh, is taking some damage. TC is still alive. The spirit walker is uh, standing. Oh, Kodo eats a fiend. This other Kodo, maybe he's gonna eat something as well. Uh, happy 60 supply or worker at 47. Of course, when you have two Kodos, well, like I was saying, it's uh, you can be a bit more daring with your Kodos. Because if you lose one, you still have the aura. As long as you have the aura, uh, you can win the fight. As you can see, uh, Happy has to TP out. He, just a moment ago, he was like 15 supply ahead. And yet, he was 12 supply ahead. And there's still a fiend here in the Kodo. So he's actually only uh, like 9 or 7. What? 49 against 45. 4 supply ahead. A player's forces are under attack. Lucy hosted you? Why are you famous? Now? Lucy hosts me almost every day. Uh, he has me on other host. And I don't think he has many other people on other host. Or maybe the other people he has on other hosts are just never online. It feels like every day I get a lot of uh, viewers from Lucy. My code seems like the best solution, Kappa. Oh wait, what did he? What just happened? Did he just kill his own Banshee? I think he did. Oh, just to go back under 50. Oh, is this gonna be a waiting game? Is he gonna wait in his base? All the creeps have been crapped. Um, He can make one more unit after this fiend is dead. TC is level 2, Zulkis is level 3. Hitmaster is level Fiends. 50 supply against 50 supply. Scanning the attack upgrade. Scanning 2 0 on the Fiends. The TC is buying an info potion, of course. He needs that. Yeah, yeah. There it is. And dust. Warrior over here. Buy some Kodos. I mean, we're just waiting. Just, just saving gold. So they're saving, for the people that don't know what's happening, they're saving gold in Worker 3. <laughs> I think every one of you know what's happening, but in Worker 3, once you go over 50 supply, you have to buy, uh, pay upkeep. Can I show you guys? No, there's no overlay. You have to pay upkeep. 30% uh, goes to tax. Uh, so all the income is taxed 30%. So what they do is they stay under 50 supply and they save up a lot of gold. So they can build a bigger army eventually. And uh, since there's no creeps on the board, there's nothing to do. And no one wants to attack. I mean, Orc Worker... Well, does, first of all, he's not going to attack into the undead base. Second of all, uh, that shouldn't attack in the Orc Worker base either. Until, uh, of course, they spend the gold. If one of the players build an expansion, then of course one of the uh, the other player will attack. But until that happens, you know, we're probably gonna save a l up a lot of gold until 100 gold. Burger King is the best. McDonald's is shit. I don't like either. I um, I like Sukiya. Fifty-eight supply against sixty-four. Uh, so they get the, they went over fifty, by the way, guys. 
He didn't even have, uh, didn't even get a dead banshee. He just went over 50. The fiends are 3-0. The raiders here are 0-0. Zero, zero. The range units are 1-0. and zero. He's building a shop here. What the fuck is Sukiya? Sukiya is a Japanese fast food restaurant which serves uh, rice balls. Which is rice with meat. It's uh, and you can you just sit down, you order, and you get your food pretty fast. So, I guess that what makes it the fast food the restaurant. I think you have them in uh, uh, maybe Yoshinoya. You might have in America as well. I don't know actually. I know you have them in uh, in other Asian countries. Uh, this raider does go down. There goes the f uh, the ghoul as well. Blade Bastard is killing this uh, this ghoul as well with two dead ghouls. 68 supply fight against against 68. The Kodo eats the abomination. The Blade Master is trying to kill this uh, this fiend. There's a nice stomp. What a beautiful stomp there. This uh, fiend taking a lot of damage. It gets a coil. What is, oh, Frost Nova? No, he ate the unit, but oh, the story goes down. We don't see any Frost Nova. He kills that Kodo with the abomination. I don't think Worker noticed that that uh, Kodo was being focused. The Banshee's in the back here, still alive. They're still an initiate, so. It's not, oh, the Kodo! No, happened! Oh, Work Worker didn't micro either Kodo. Losing both Kodos means he loses the Kodo aura. 20% damage lost. Uh, this fiend here is, uh, th is dead, of course. The Death Knight here is level 4. There is a coil on this fiend. This uh, this guy goes down. Uh, a banshee goes down, and this banshee is probably going down as well. He gives the coil to the banshee, and there goes another berserker. Fifty-eight supply against forty-seven supply. And these guys here. This guy might fall as well, of course. Um, well, he was still focusing this other unit. Oh, this is, of, this is of course why he went over 50 spider. It was an expansion made by Orc Worker. But he kills his spirit walker with uh, Orc Worker. Can he defend still? At the shop, of course, he has an advantage. But the TC is, TC is also very close to level 3. Level 2 stomp is going to be big. His uh, heroes are level 4. It's not over yet, even though Happy has a supply advantage there. Uh, the Kodo eats something. No, he tried to eat something. This Kodo ate the fiend. Again, he has two Kodos, which is... Uh, this time, hopefully, he doesn't lose one. There's a stomp. Hits like a fiend. Uh, Abomination and the uh, Dark Ranger. The Abomination takes a lot of damage. The Kodo eats a fiend. And, well, this TC is out of mana. Is Happy... Uh, Happy still seven supply up, but that's including six supply in the side of the stomach of the Kodos. There goes another fiend. This Kodo is definitely going to die, though. The destroyer is safe here in the back. And there is a coil on the destroyer. Blade Master killing the destroyer. Uh, what a stomp. Hits like a fiend, a uh, lich, and an uh, abomination. The Blade Master uses uh, info potion. This TC takes so much damage, he does go down. TC is dead. Uh, this GG now. This is GG. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Orc Workers wins at least one game. Chaco's Cup sponsored by Choco Taco. Maybe maybe I just give uh, chocolate tacos away to the winner. When he gets his cat, no! No, then I can only do one. Also, I think some other people wouldn't like that. I would totally donate to fund the Choco Cup. Choco, Choco Taco flavored kisses. I mean, we should brainstorm about it uh, some other day. Maybe someday we don't have two tournaments in one day. Like, uh, you give prizes split to top three players, that would be most fair. I mean, I've been thinking maybe a, maybe a king of the hill. We don't have a king of the hill in the work of three scene at the moment. Uh, but that would be just king of the hill, though. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe like some kind of cup, and then the winner can will fight the uh, uh, king of the hill match against the uh, the current king. But that wouldn't mean we'd need uh, two prizes, of course, for our two prize pools, because it's like two different uh, things, right? It's like a cup and then like a king of the hill. Uh, anyway, I'll I'll think about it some more. Let's uh, let's watch this game for now. And I'm rooting for Orc Worker because I want no three zeros. I want a three two or a three one or a three or three two is fine. This Blade Master is go for the Cobalt. 
It's going for the no uh, Nulls, I mean. It's going for the no Brood. Hello, Chaka. Hello, Chat. Hello, Zero. Making an FFA cup. <laughs> an FFA cup, yeah, it would be original, but. Uh, as you know, probably from my watching my stream, I'm mostly uh, interested in 1v1. There's also uh, someone suggesting a 2v2 cup, which is also. Uh, I mean, there's no 2v2 cups, but personally, I'm just. Uh, it doesn't really boil my blood. So oh, what is this? This grunt gets it stared by the creep by the forestal trapper. Oh no, well bad for a worker, but maybe he can survive actually, maybe. Oh no, the skeleton is not oh the grunt gets out in time. But he could uh no, he's gonna survive. 300 hit points, unless he's gonna waste two coils on it. No. Doesn't want to use two coils to kill the grunt. Tojara is creeping over here. I would donate for a 2v2 cup. Well maybe we can add a 2v2 cup at some point, but uh it's not my main focus. Or FFA as well. I really like the King of the Hill ID. It's always m been much, uh, been fun to watch this streams for StarCraft 2 for me. Yeah, I forgot who it was, but someone in my chat recommended it, and I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty smart. Uh, of course, it's also then difficult to think like, do I do it on NetEase or on Europe? You get different players, of course, and these players are a bit better. But it's probably more difficult. Maybe I, I do a cup like uh, one week on Netties, one week week on WP Arena. Chaco, is this the best Death Knight name? Oh, we haven't talked about the Death Knight names. Baron Morte is a French Death Knight. Baron is kind of very low standing in nobility, so it's not very uh, not very good Death Knight name actually. It's uh, it's, it's it's definitely not the best. I'm the only one giving Chaco back some tacos. What the fuck? <laughs> Zero just gave me some. Uh, where's the Blade Master, by the way? Blade Master Tojaro with Tojaro again. So many Tojaros today. He's level three already. Actually, this game is looking pretty well, uh, pretty nice here for uh, uh, workers so far. The Blade Master doesn't have any boots. The skeletons are dying. The skeleton, the skeletons dead. The Berserker takes a little bit of that uh, damage. Not the best items though on the uh, Blade Master. The Cloak of Shadows is shitty. The Ring of Protection is... How shitty is it actually? Against that, how shitty is it? I'm not sure. Circlet is beautiful. Th that's the item he wants. But the Death Knight, he has only a Circlet. He's only level 2.5 compared to a level 3.2... Uh, level 3.2 Blade Master, Tojara. Yeah, Duke Rage Reaver is way awesomer. Also, a Duke is higher nobility than um, Baron. Tower level three. Death Knight level two. Oh, can he still? Like, oh no, he is. Oh, he was full on items anyway. Uh, so I don't think he could have, unless he was here like a long time earlier, so he could hide the item over there and then steal it. But no, he was uh, he was already too late. He didn't even backstab the fiend that he was attacking. This windwalk just ran out. Meanwhile, we have the shadow hunter creeping over here. He has three grunts and a berserker. He's stacking two fortress. He's getting a wormhole up, and he's getting more raiders. There is the cloak of uh, shadows. You should learn to parse your mass raiders on TM. Uh, well, I think he's doing... Uh, what? I, uh, what? Did he get a Tome of XP? And who picked it up? Did, did Tojara pick it up or the Death Knight? I feel like the Death Knight picked it up, right? If it was a Tome of XP, the Death Knight picked it up because he's a more XP. He sells the Ruined Razors. Do you guys saw who picked it up? There was a Tome of XP, I think. We can check if it's a Tome of XP by zooming in. I think that's the Tome of XP. But uh, the question is... Who picked it up? I think the Death Knight picked it up because we had a higher XP Blade Master, right? Or or was it the other way around? Because the Blade Master creeped this while the... I mean the Death Knight creeped this while the Blade Master was walking around. I'm not sure, maybe the Blade Master picked it up. 
Death Knight took it. Death Knight did. Okay. It, yes. <laughs> yes, it was a Tomo XP in all caps. Okay. 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 It was a Tomo XP. I trust you guys. Tomo XP. Don't have to yell at me. It's, <laughs> he has uh, taken some damage there. Uh, he doesn't have Frost over yet. So he cannot just kill that Bait Master. But if he gets a level 2 lit suddenly. What item is this? Wand of Mana Stealing coils the Fiend. Blade Master uses uh, Scroll of Speed. Chaco is checking the ground for a tome. You can see the tomes. The tomes are still visible after they've been picked up. They just become super small. Uh, Blizzard didn't make them disappear. They just... Um, Made them super small, so most people don't even know. Most people never realize that you can always find the tome where it was picked up. And if your eyes are good, you can see what color the tome is, and then you know what tome it is. I'm not sure if you're just playing, if you can see it, uh, see which tomes your opponent has picked up. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never looked at that actually. Maybe I should try looking at uh, playing a game. Try looking at the tomes of XP of my opponent, so I know exactly what kind of skills my opponent's uh, heroes. What kind of uh, tomes they got, you know? What their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. Anyway, we have expansion up already here for some time. For back to wor uh, a worker, getting a TC. The tomes don't go away. No, they don't. They don't go away. Chuck was trolling me. No, I'm not. I'm not trolling, guys. You can see the top that was picked up when Falk of War disappears, right? Uh, I mean, you need to have vision. Like, you don't see it through the Falk of War, of course. I can show you guys, man. If it, does this drop a tome? Yes, this drops a tome, right? Uh, what's over here? Dark Ranger, walk away. Oh, here it is. Guys, you see this? The Tome of Agility. It's green, so that's why I know it's a Tome of Agility. It's still animating. It's small, it's going in circles. Do you see it? Or is my quality of my stream too uh, low? Maybe a green is kind of hard to see because it's a uh, green background. I mean, and a as a player, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> loads of Warcraft 3 to test stones. At first, I remember, we actually found this out on stream. At first, I thought there were pixels. Uh, but then I realized it was just a book, very small. And I realized you could uh, you could even see what tome it was. Like, uh, like a purple one is especially easy to see. Uh, actually, purple, blue, those are easy. The tome of XP is kind of hard to see because it's just one color. So it's kind of, for example, in green background, you're not sure if it's tome of XP or tome of uh, agility. Oh, is this a creep check? 58 supply against 60. Someone has bad Ana for two days. It's maybe too radical. It's, uh, I don't know. I'll think about it later. For now, uh, this game. Uh, this coda went down. The TC is silenced. This raider takes a lot of damage. Do we have Stomp? There's a Stomp. The Blade Master and the Raiders going for this. This code also. This looks so. Uh, this looks like there's no army here for Orc Worker. How come uh, there are equal supply items? I guess the, the expansion. Put a lot of peons. Uh, this statue does go down. This Raider does go down as well. And this uh, Berserker goes down as well. There, this Fiend takes some attack from the Blade Master. Fiend here, Burrows. We have a bunny here. Bunny, Death Knight is a bunny. He has a coil available. This grunt takes some damage. The grunt goes down. 55 supply against 49 supply. And uh, some skeletons skinning the uh, the peons here. I think he has to sacrifice this, doesn't he? By the way, some nice items here. Look at Amulet of Spell Shield. Belt of Strength. Strength. Kankar's uh, Gem of Health. He did get some very good items. I feel like uh, he was just in a bad position. Fight that fight. Oh, but now so many skeletons. Look at all these skeletons. 
There's no spirit walkers. That's a beautiful storm. Hits like three banshees, two fiends, and some skeletons. Here comes the color though. <laughs> Look at that micro there. The fiends being micro out. He did eat a fiend over there. There's a false nova on the blade master. Uses the info potion. There's a false armor. Oh, he surrounds it, Kodo. And the Kodo is full. He cannot just eat the fiend. If he could vomit out his own one fiend on the right side and then eat the other fiend, that would be amazing. That maybe uh, they should add that to work of Fury Remastered. The Blade Master killing uh, Banshees. Killed both the Banshees. Look at it 153 critical strike. But oh, it does he have a healing? He has one more healing wave, but that's the last one. But the TC is uh, out of mana to stomp. But remember, he still has the amulet of spell shield, but he's just going to die to focus fire. Doesn't need to be nuked. Uh, but the Death Knight and the Lich are out of mana. Dark Ranger as well, but without the TC, uh, these grunts, grunts are useless, guys. Grunts are so useless against undead. Forty-one supply against fifty-five. He's uh, killing this grunt. Level four Lich, level four Death Knight. Worker needs to train more for undead. Well, this, I don't know. I feel like it's one of his better matchups. Even he needs to. Uh, Practice all the matchups. Where's the tomb at the mine? Chuck oh, uh, well, I, wait, there's no tomb at the mine. Is that a trick for a question, Molly? Tomb at the mine? There's no tomb, all right? Tomb of, uh, tome, I mean, tome of experience. I mean, tome of any type. There doesn't drop a tome there, right? Here there drops a tome. Here you see it. Tome of intelligence. It's blue. Oh. Here's an attack on the the burrows. We have some peons in the burrows. Some peons dying here. Another coder here for worker. 45 supply against 62. There's a silence on the blade master and the TC. Coil there on the lich. This this fiend takes some damage. He's focusing the TC. He's might back. This, this coder takes a lot of damage. This coder tries to eat something, but he misses his dinner and now he's dead. That's a waste of a Kodo. That's a stomp hit like the two units there. Just GG. He didn't even GG. I guess he's angry. He's upset. He's.